All right, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this bad boy open and see what we got going. Okay. But the main thing that we're trying to get to is inside here. All right, so got that popped off in from the looks of it. It's looking like, oh damn, I forgot I gotta take that little piece off inside there that's holding this down, but you gotta slide this out, slide this out, and it goes right there. Upon further inspection, um, this piece isn't even worn out like I had thought, you know? So I'm gonna still put this piece in just because, you know, I, got it already, I already got it open, so I might as well replace it. So today, this came yesterday actually. Got these, these for the hubcaps. All four of these. These are pretty heavy duty. And they look nice too. Nicer in person than I thought. And then here's the scanner I decided to pick up. You know, got some real good reviews on Amazon. It's not nothing but like this 25 bucks. I'm gonna try this bad boy out after I'm done putting that piece back in. All right, so I'm underneath my car showing you guys exactly, well, my SUV, showing you guys exactly what I'm working on. So here's the transmission right here, the whole transmission, the transfer case right here, which is attached to the transmission, and then the um, four-wheel drive activator thing. I forgot what it's called, but it's this right here. I had to take this out. I still got to screw the screws in. The screws are still sticking out a little bit. Got to put the other one up inside there, but... I'm screwing that back inside there. But yeah, man, the boy doing his thing. Have to loosen up this. This supports the weight of the transmission. Getting these screws in. On this part, and then I gotta tighten it down with my tool. Like top screw it, it's damn joke. Also gotta save myself some room. Turn this this way. A little bit of hand work and a little bit of money and a little bit of patience. All right, so I already scanned the vehicle. Two codes popped up, a camshaft uh, code and something else. I'm gonna go ahead and scan it again so you guys can see. It's probably not picking up every single thing. Found two codes. Uh, okay, read codes. It says, the camshaft position timing over retarded bank, whatever that means, P0012. The next one is evaporative, code P2402. And then if I scroll down again, it pops up the same thing. Then pop, scroll down again, same thing. So I don't know what's that for about, it's only two codes. All right, miraculously, for some reason after, well, I don't know, I guess that part was bad, but for some reason after replacing that part and driving it down the street and around a block and all the brake lights are off, you know, there's no brake lights. Other than that, man, the engine sounds good. See, when I pressed on the gas, nothing shaking or anything. And it, so it sounds like, sounds real good. You can tell when the engine is bad, like when you know, it don't got no good oil or something. All right, people, so I guess I decided to go ahead and give you guys a little video of what I'm doing. Um, I wasn't planning on doing an actual tutorial of this. I already got a lot of carbon fiber uh, tutorials of me doing my MacBook and all kind of other, uh, like my uh, other laptop and stuff like that. I took this out of my car. This is like the air conditioning part right here. And I detached this from the outer frame. This is the framing 
you know so this all you want to have if you're doing a wrap you know the less the more stuff you can take off of the frame the better because the frame is what you're wrapping and then once you put everything inside there it's going to look like it's like it's made like that like it's flush like it was you know factory made with the carbon fiber it's the same thing i'm trying to do with this part but with this i'm running out of uh, carbon fiber see with this i gotta unscrew all these little tiny screws to take this whole thing out so these buttons won't be in the way you know so i can just be the frame only got my heat gun right here got my exacto knife kit and everything so you know just showing y'all a little bit of what I'm, what I'm doing behind the scenes i still gotta do an unboxing of this which you don't really need for the uh removal of the um bmw stereo thing because it's so easy it's just you know you gotta pry pry it to the side you know pop it out and then i'll screw a couple of screws but this is a good set to have still inside your tools so when you're removing stuff and you need like a instead of going to go get a flathead screwdriver or a butter knife this has all the little you know tools you need so yeah i just want to show you guys what i'm doing real quick on a little side little side project late night evening project not really late but you know 